Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about how you can modernize a vintage purse by adding a cool custom strap to it. And it's one that's very special to me. So I'm really excited about showing you how this all worked out. But first, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. If you're somebody who's come back, thanks for coming back. If you're one of our subscribers or someone who watches regularly, I love you. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing, leave comments. Also, we are on Instagram and Twitter at The Dress Up Mom. I'm somebody who was very blessed in their life to have had a great grandmother, just a wonderful grandmother. I had a super special relationship with my grandmother. She lived with us a lot of the time while I was growing up and she was just, she's somebody I could do a whole episode on her life. She was strong, courageous, but caring and loving and I got a lot out of having her in my life and she's someone that again influenced me a lot and was very special. So when she passed, I was really fortunate to inherit some of her favorite things. We have her dining room set from India that I just love. I'm actually sitting on one of the rattan chairs that were hers that always brings a smile to my face when I sit in them. And I also inherited or got her purse. She didn't have a lot of things, but she's kind of a simple woman. And this is exactly the kind of thing that I totally remember her taking everywhere. Just a basic leather, purse that was just the right size and perfect. So I've been using it for a number of years. The problem is that it has a really weird strap. So this, I have it down to its smallest sense. I think it really dates it. You can actually take these straps and make it a little bit bigger, but it's just not long enough. It was never long enough and kind of a, a strange sort of a situation with this strap. So I wanted to make a custom strap for this and modernize it. If you've watched the channel before, you've probably seen or heard me talk about Bird Lady, my incredible bag that I have here. I use this pretty much every day. It has my name inside of it. It is lined here. It was made for me by a really great local artisan named Erin Bynum. What Erin's going to do with the strap is make it so it's a nice long strap and I can wear the bag crossbody, which I've been wanting to do, or just across one of the shoulders. But I think it's gonna really make it so much more versatile and I'll get to use it even, even more. So what Erin talked about is we're going to put what I called my grandmother, along one of that she's gonna put that on, on the strap. But then Erin wants to line the strap with some fabric. And she asked me to find some fabric that had a special meaning or was something that I wanted to do the lining on. It took a while. It took me months really to find something that was special. I went to vintage stores, just trying to find anything that kind of reminded me of my grandmother or had some sort of meaning. And then it came to me. Again, if you watch my channel, you know that I love Ama, the hugging saint. I wear her bracelet, I never take it off, the one that she put on me. And once a year, my husband and I go and get a hug from Ama in LA when she's in town. And there's this great bazaar that's, that's there. And Ama, again, is also just a loving, motherly type of a figure to me and the, her hugs last me a year, and I love going back every year and getting another one. However, there's a bazaar there of different things you can buy from India, and there's one section that, that has things that were hers, that Ama either wore or did something with. So when I was seeing Ama this last time, I came upon this beautiful fabric. First off, Erin had suggested Paisley. I love Paisley and I love all these colors. They're great. She's gonna be able to cut strips out of it. But what this was is an altar piece that Alma actually used in one of her ashrams. And when I saw this and heard it, what it was, 
I have got kind of chills because my grandmother is the, or was the wife of a priest. My grandfather was a priest and she always had a little altar in her bedroom. I can remember it. And she had altar pieces just like this in there. So I think it's going to be incredibly special to have this strap with some of the things that I called my grandmother and she called me a little bit of ama, an altar piece. And I just can't wait. I'm taking it to Aaron today. I ended up getting the purse and the strap back today and I'm quite pleased with it. It ended up being quite a journey this strap had because Aaron was unable to do it. Then she was kind enough to find another leather worker for me named Tamara. And Tamara and I talked and collaborated and decided to keep it very simple, which I think is much more like my grandmother. She was a very simple woman. So what she ended up doing is she ended up having this very creative concept here with the Ama fabric, the altar cloth. She made these five cutouts, that way it protects it on the other side. And the five is kind of great because there were five in my grandmother's family. She had three children, herself and her husband. So that reminds me of her. And then she just simply put on here Baba Zorka, which is what I called her. And she made it symmetrical and had that on both sides. So I really think I like this so much. It's simple, it's very her, but yet unique. I'll wear it a lot more with this strap like it, like this instead of the short little one. So it turned out great. I'm really pleased with it. So thank you so much to both Aaron and Tamara. I encourage you to find these great leather workers in your communities and locally source some of the fun projects that you want. So this was great for me. I'll treasure it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, dress it up a little.